So the first episode of What If came out, and I'm going to be reviewing it. Hey guys, it's me, Bernie Burr, and welcome back to another video. So, What If episode 1 is out, uh, and I figured I'm going to do a different review uh, compared to what I normally do for shows, or have done for the one show I've reviewed, Loki. Uh, so instead of reviewing the season at the end, I'm going to review it episode by episode. Why? I don't know. Switch it up, I guess. More, more views. Uh, and yeah. It's, I think it's better to get my opinion on the episode than the series as a whole. But I don't know. I might do a review of the series whenever it's over. Who knows? Or season. Because season two is confirmed. Also, it is eight in the morning, so my hair is messy. My eyes are weird. So sorry about that. I'm going to be playing visuals, though, so don't, don't worry. But yeah. So I'm going to run through the points I have about the episode. What I liked about it, disliked. Yeah, so let's get into it. So before we begin, I actually want to talk about how much I love the premise of a what-if show. I just love the idea of taking certain events and turning them on their heads. So whenever I heard we were getting a what-if show, I was really happy. And I'm hoping the show does well so that Disney can, you know, see it does well and then maybe make what-ifs for other franchises like Star Wars. I would love a Star Wars what-if. Oh my god, that would that'd be amazing. But yeah, uh, so I'll go through my positives about the episode first. The animation was amazing. The animation was amazing. I... It was great. The action was also amazing. Like, Peggy really knows how to use that shield. And Red Skull's death was surprisingly... Oh, yeah. Spoilers, by the way. Red Skull's death was brutal. Like, he was crushed by that tentacle monster. Like, kind of dark for that MCU. Not as dark as when, you know, John Walker... You know. Howard Stark was also really fun in this. He was really funny. I really liked him. And I liked the ending with Nick Fury and Hawkeye. Like, how they connected it to, like, so instead of it was Loki coming through the portal, it was Agent Carter, Captain Carter. <laughs> so I did really like that. I also like how Bucky didn't fall off the train. Uh, and then he made a joke about how Peggy almost ripped his arm off. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. But yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess he survived in this timeline. All right, now on to my complaints. Some of the voice acting felt a little off at times. Like, at one time in the episode, Peggy sounded like a man. What in heavens? Like, you know. Some parts of the story also felt rushed, too. Like the ending where Captain Carter, you know, sacrifices herself, I guess, and pushes the monster back into its home. You know, compared to the original version where Steve sacrifices himself and Peggy and Steve have a nice conversation, like, oh, we were gonna go dance. You never taught me how to dance. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, instead, it's just they have one line each, like, wait, you promised me a dance. Saturday night. And then it's over. Like, I didn't, I didn't like that. You know, so parts of the story felt rushed. Parts of the story felt, like, different, too. Like, really different. I don't think there was an explosion, <laughs> you know, when Steve was getting the super soldier serum. I don't think there was. And then, uh, I don't know how Peggy becoming Captain Carter instead of Steve made Red Skull want to do interdimensional portal stuff. But, you know, it's whatever. But, yeah, I mean, like, besides the voice acting and parts of the story feeling rushed, I genuinely enjoyed it. I felt I feel like it could have been a little longer though. Like, thirty minutes wasn't, you know, that long. I feel like they could have slapped in an extra like ten minutes, and I wouldn't have complained. I, I've never been a fan of like the military side of the MCU. Like, I like the more Marvel side of it. You know, like your interdimensional threats. You're as Guardians. You're Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, so and I've heard that the second and the third episode are much better than the first. So. I'm looking forward to it. I think the second the second episode's gonna be what if T'Challa was Star Lord? I don't know. I don't know about the third one, but I'm I'm glad I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna do reviews on those as well. So look out for that. So yeah, sorry sorry this review was a little scuffed compared to the other ones on YouTube. Like I just woke up like an hour and a half ago, you know. <laughs> so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, overall, I really liked the first episode. Very good start to the show. I would give it a mm, eight an eight out of ten. Again, the voice acting, and then the, uh, you know, some of the story was rushed. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below, and I will see you Friday, I guess, for the ending of Bad Batch. <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.